Hi guys, welcome to the course. So as you know, we're gonna make an 80s track, probably in the style of the weekend, and it's gonna be a start to finish with every step explained. Let's have a listen to the track we're gonna end up with. So feel free to follow along. All the samples and presets you need are either in the download zip file, which you'll get after purchase, or under this video if you're watching along with the free lessons on YouTube. The first few lessons are free, so let's get started. So as I said, this is a modern 80s style production tutorial, which is quite popular these days in the UK charts and other charts as well. So we'll be having a look at ways to achieve that 80s sound. And I'm also gonna recreate this song that I've already made in the exact order, or at least I'll try to, that I made it the first time around. That way you can see how another producer goes about his business and in what order he might create a song in. If that maybe helps you or not, I don't know. But let's get going, let's just quickly check the settings first. So if you're following along, you wanna have the same settings as me. Go to Project, Project Setup, and I'm gonna be using 44.1 sample rate and 24 bit, and go to Studio, Studio setup, just make sure on the ASIO driver you've got your sound card stroke interface selected as well. I'm only using voice meter as it's a way of recording this tutorial. And you want to set your tempo to 116. And that's done down the bottom here in Cubase. So the first thing I do when making the track is just to bring it in a very, very simple beat so you can get something rhythmic down. So kick and snare, and it doesn't really matter what kick and snare it is at the moment, it's just to get that beat down. We can always change the sample later on. And this is why I like to use sample tracks, either in Groove Agent, use the sampler in there, or use the inbuilt Cubase sampler track, because it just makes changing the sample later on a lot easier. So on the right hand side, go to media and navigate to the work files that you get either when you purchase the course or the free ones under YouTube, just download that folder, unzip it, and you'll have all the audio in there. And we wanna to navigate to where it says synth wave kick. And that's that one there. Now this actually came from the built in samples in Cubase, just gonna quickly show you that. Loops and samples. And the synth wave pack that comes with Cubase is called Night Call, which is this one here and it's in there, the Synthwave Kick 05 NC is in there. And it is that one there. So I'm gonna right click this and create a sampler track so I can change that sample later on if I need to. This is pretty much how I work. And here's our sampler track, just gonna make that yellow, all my drums will be yellow. And we'll just rename this Kick. So we'll keep our housekeeping up to date and nice and tidy as we go. I actually just want to turn off this info line up here because we don't need it, this bit here. So we'll just turn off the info line, get a bit more space on the screen. Then we'll just start at bar nine. So it gives us a little bit of room to add anything before that if we want to. And we'll just add in one bar. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we'll add in one bar of kicks. So we'll double click, go into C3. So let's zoom in and get this on bar nine. Just make sure our grid is on. It's on grid, not grid relative. So we're on grid, we've got the snap on and click it on there with so it goes white. And the quantize 16 is okay for now. Let's just move this onto bar nine. We'll turn this down in a minute. But I'm just holding down Alt to get my pen tool or you can grab it up here, of course. So we'll add a kick in on every quarter note, and we'll just close that down. So let's turn this kick down, because this is the first element in the project. We need to turn it right down, because once we start adding in all the other elements as well, they're all gonna sum together, and they're gonna cause distortion on the output, the main output. So let's get this right down. Let's just get the fader up so we can see the level. 
Alt and P to loop that section that's highlighted. So this section here is highlighted. Shortcut is Alt and P. We're hitting about minus 12 on here, so that's fine. Maybe come down even more, bring down minus seven up here. And on the meter, we're hitting about minus 12. If you want to keep this fader at zero, you can do, you can just come into the channel setting and do the minus here on the pregain if that's what you prefer to do. But I prefer to bring down the fader. So there's our kick. Let's bring in the snare. Now the snare is made from an old drum machine or sampled from an old drum machine called the Lindrum, which was very, very big in the 1980s. And ages ago when I did the synthwave course, I downloaded all the Lindrum samples, which you can get off the internet, by the way. The ones that you need are in the folder here. But I just want to quickly show you that if you want all the Lindrum samples, you can just quickly go to Google, type in free Lindrum samples. And of course, there's no end of links to download all the Lindrum samples. I can't remember which one I used but they all pretty much go to a place where you can download all the samples and they just sound super, super retro and super 80s. So anything in that sample bank is superb. And this is what the old Lindrum used to look like. Very, very famous in the 1980s. But like I say, all the samples you need are in the folder anyway, in the download folder. So we're gonna use Lindrum Snare 02, which is this one here. Lovely and retro. So let's just create a sampler track on that as well. So holding down Alt to get my pen tool as well, just a shortcut that is. We want this on the second and fourth beat. And again, we need to bring down the volume, of course, to balance with the kick. Just rename this snare. And if you want to rename the part as well, do shift and enter rather than just enter. And what you can do here as well, because you've got the kick going at the same time as the snare, what's quite common in this genre is just to turn down the velocity on the second and fourth snare, uh, sorry, kick, just to make way for the snare. So we'll turn it down to about 80, 82, 81, thereabout. So we've got the slightly reduced volume on the second and fourth. Just a touch too much. We'll go 87 on the velocity. And if velocity is not showing for you, maybe it's on pitch bend, you can just change it here. Get the velocity information up. And we we'll just make sure the snare is yellow as well. All my drums will be yellow, as I said. And we can now zoom up a little bit vertically. Now, of course, to get that traditional 80s drum sound, we need to add gated reverb. This will be done in the next lesson. So that real retro reverb sound, I'll be showing you how to get that. But I wanted to make this first lesson a bit more interesting rather than just doing kick and snare because it's just a bit boring. So we'll add in quickly a 80s lead, which I made in Vital. And if you want to learn how to use Vital, just go to Google. We have loads and loads of tutorials already on our website. Just Google Born to Produce Vital, and you can either click the video results here, or you can go to our website, which is also under Tutorials and Free Vital Tutorials. Come to this page, and there's loads of videos here showing you how to use Vital. So we're going to quickly add Vital. If you haven't got Vital, I highly recommend it. I'll show you how to install that in just a second. So add an instrument track. We want Vital, which is a free synth, and it's Absolutely brilliant. So I'm not sure what to call it yet, so we just call it 80s chords. And I'll show you an easy way to get chords into Cubase if you're not a piano player or keyboard player. So this is Vital. Again, I'll just show you on Google. Just Google Vital Synth. And it's the first result, vital.audio. And we always use this now because it's free and it's just as good as Serum, which is another great plugin, but it's paid for. And just go all the way to the bottom. Create an account, obviously a free account. Just go for the free version, unless you want to upgrade and get more wavetables and presets. But the free one is absolutely fine for what we're doing here. Just download it all, get it installed, and then obviously load it up on your instrument track in Cubase. And for quickness, like I say, we're going to go to the presets, 
And again, the presets will be in the folder as well under the folder Vital Presets. So just going to search 80s, so BTP 80s lead or pad. Just double click, by the way, and that will load it. And it's just a simple saw pad. And obviously, we need to turn that down. So if you're a established piano player or keyboard player, then obviously you don't need to know how to get simple chords in. You can just play them in yourself. But for anyone that doesn't know how to play piano, keyboard, this is for you really. So you go to chord pads at the bottom, just make sure your lower zone is on by clicking this button. These are the zones. Activate left zone, activate right zone, activate lower zone. And in the lower zone, we go to chord pads and just by single clicking on my mouse or single pressing on my MIDI keyboard, just one note on my MIDI keyboard, I get full chords and you can manipulate and edit those chords as much as you like by going into these um, side panels here and you can change the style of the chord as much as you want. So what I did was um, I just decided that I was going to do this in a minor key and I just thought C minor is a good place to start. So I went to chord pads presets, load chord pads presets and just went for C minor, which is this one here. Double click it and then it brings up all the chords that are in that scale. What you can do is lock all the pads as well because see this AV means adaptive voicing. It means it will start playing the chords up and down the full stretch of the octave range and you don't always want that. So what you can do is just come down here and do lock all pads. And it's not going to start changing all the voicing for you. Sometimes that's handy, but in most cases it's not. So then what I did was just to get a chord progression, I just literally did this. I just played around with my mouse until I found something I liked. And I came up with C minor, A flat, E flat, F minor. And this is for the verse, but I also use the same chord progression for the chorus, because I noticed that being done quite a lot in this genre. And the only time we change up the chord progression is in the pre-chorus. So all you've got to do, chord pads, is just to drag them in. So drag in C minor. So that's one bar. We need to just duplicate these along to make a four bar loop. So we just highlight the kick and snare. And you can either take this middle section here, this middle handle and drag it across, or you can just highlight it and do Control D which both actions do duplicate. So now we need to extend our loop point like so. And we now need to drag in our second chord, and that was A flat. Now you can see we're now sampling a drum track when I press this. Because the drum tracks are highlighted, we need the 80s chord vital channel to be highlighted. Because these pads trigger whatever's highlighted over here. So drag in A flat. And by the way, you can go in here and change the chord around. You can change the notes up and down octaves or lengthen or shorten the notes. It's up to you. So you can fully customize these chords. So C minor, A flat. I've got E flat. And I finished up on F minor to cause a bit of tension. And let's just have a listen to that. And although that's very, very basic, that is the basics or foundation of our verse and chorus. So there's many, many, many more lessons to come where we build this right up to a huge project and a retro 80s sounding pop track. So in the next lesson, we'll do some gated reverb to make these sound a bit more 80s and put them in their own space, kick in the snare. And then after that, we'll start adding loads more leads and pads and bass lines and all sorts of stuff. So 
I'll see you then. All the best. Bye-bye.